<laughs> so this is where I'm from. Uh, this is the Belcher Islands in the Hudson Bay. My grandparents' generation went from igloos to towns. I grew up in a house going to a school. This Inuit community formed in the 70s by force through assimilation uh, in the Belcher Islands. Imagine wanting to become a musician from a town of less than a thousand people where hunting is uh, more for your next meal than is more of the island lifestyle than becoming a rock star. My 63-year-old stepmom was born in a tent near this town, Senekiluak, and went to residential school. This is a picture of my biological father and my stepmother when they got married. We left my, my biological mother, who was an alcoholic. My stepmother was a counselor. My father was a social worker and grew up in NWT in his teen life. This is a photo of my loving parents, but the focus is the photo behind them. This is a photo of me and the late famous Inuk musician, Charlie Adams, my fav father's favorite artist. I met him when I was six, when I was in square dance and backstreet boys dance group with my cousins. And he gave me an Inuk kiss, which is a sniff on the cheeks, and he smelled like Smirnoff. <laughs> Here, I'm 10 years old. I showed off my reading skills at a fair and I got hired to $40 uh, every Saturday to read on TV. Uh, when I was 11, I watched Lindsay Lohan play the guitar in Freaky Friday, and I wanted to learn. So my parents told me they ha they'll buy me a guitar once I learn how to play from the science teacher. A friend uh, who taught me passed away, and I put the guitar down for a couple years. Here's... Uh, my first rock band, I was a bass guitarist. I was 19 when we started touring in the Arctic of Canada. I was in a three-piece band when I was 15. My first hit was Isuma that played in my radio uh, in Senekiloak. We switched. Uh, so here's a photo of me, 17, at my father's memorial where we're singing his favorite song, Kuvesipunga, by Charlie Adams which means I'm happy at a bitter time, bittersweet time where after my father had committed suicide. My family uh, got stronger than ever after that. Here is a proud moment graduating grade 12. I wasn't notified until it was too late to apply for college. I got pregnant as a result, and here is me pregnant walking down at 17, and my baby daddy and high school sweetheart was my prom date. Here's uh, me at age 18 pregnant. 19 was the legal age to be at a bar in Nunavut, but I was given an exception to perform in Ikhaluit at the Kikin Caribou um, open mic night at the pub. While I waited for my child to be born, I chose to fly to Ikhaluit to live with my sister and give the child away to her co-worker before I headed off to college in Nunavut, Sivuniksavut. Here's a photo of me graduating from uh, Inuit studies after I, uh, I learned uh, my culture, my, uh, our history, and how to drum dance. And here's a photo of me drum dancing in my second year of Inuit studies uh, at a cross-cultural trip to Belize. I taught little kids how to drum dance, and shortly after that, I taught kids in my community how to drum dance. So uh, we lost the drum years ago from Christianity and residential school, and I brought it back to my community. Here's a photo of my band performing in Umiruk at the Blueberry Festival. Kids, elders, and adults would line, hundreds of them would line up to get my autograph, a photo, the lyrics of my song seemed to really reach out to people, and uh, they gave a lot to me. So the way I give back is I teach kids how to play the drum. So here's a photo of me and my niece, and I'm going to show you uh, a song. I'm going to kayak in the sea. In the sea, will you come with me? It's so much fun in the sea. In the sea, will you come with me? I studied at 
First Nation Studies in Merit BC at Nicola Valley Institute of Technology, and it inspired me to write my, song, my album Sedna about the sea goddess. After that, uh, during school, I made the Nunavut Hitmakers. We just finished our 10th community where we teach kids how to play the traditional drum, and I was in a CBC do short doc about that. And here is me here in Winnipeg at the Centennial Hall performing for 2,000 people for my song Sedna, the Inuit Sea Goddess. And I, this was my first big break in music. I was 25, this was last year. And, and then I hit the Juno uh, Awards red carpet with little to no knowledge to the music industry. I found myself on... Um, uh, in Vancouver uh, with celebrities and with my seal skin lit up dress uh, as Sedna the sea goddess. And this was recent with my Inuit ta traditional tattoos which were banned. Uh, I won the Inspire Award this year which I'm very proud of. I'm proud to have given back to my community through drum dancing, through music, giving technical skills and giving uh, studios to people in my community. Here is me in New York at the UN speaking on behalf of Canada. Um, Carolyn Bennett gave me a minute and a half to tell the UN to get us to officialize all our indigenous languages and to lift the sealskin ban. So that's that. I'm an advocate for Inuit and uh, I continue to succeed uh, despite all the barriers I had faced.